third tail of the tape is brought to you by Zenergy, the ultra premium energy drink from Zion. Dan the Sandman Christensen, seven years older than the former champion. He owns a huge reach advantage. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eva Levine. All right, he wasn't able to recover last time we saw him. Will the real Frank Mir reemerge in the heavyweight division tonight? Frank Mir, Dan Christensen, heavyweight battle set to go, and we are underway. Christensen literally was clapping during the introduction of Frank Mir. But as you said, Randy, now it's time to take Frank Mir down because he stands in your way if you have title aspirations yourself. Christensen is a brawler. They're showing some stand-up skills. Absolutely. And, and you know, as you well did, everybody has transformed their game a bit. They still have the area in which they're the most proficient, but everybody transforms or they get left behind. Absolutely. If you've got a glaring weakness, somebody's going to point it out to you. The best thing that Mir can do is go ahead and close the positioning of Dan Christensen thus alleviating his huge reach advantage. And Mir is a very strong and powerful man. Big, strong guy. Both these guys, great, big, strong guys. And this is definitely a better place for Mir to be. Tight here in the clinch range. I mean, he knocked out Wes Sims. I mean, so he has displayed some striking ability in the past. In a great foot sweep. Side control, going, going for the foul mount. This could be trouble. Mir Chris, able to pass very easily. Christensen's in big trouble here. Mir trying to end it early. Look for the arm bar. Look for, oh, he missed it. Some nice ground and pound work by Frank Mir. Right to mount. This is pretty crazy right here because if, if already he, already he is gassed, that is not a good sign for Frank Mir. But that has been the knock on him. Yeah. That, that has been the problem, I think, of him as a conditioning. I think the work ethic. He's got tons of talent. Christensen just trying to tie him up, survive this position. I think he really, he's got to use his length, open those feet up, get him on his hips, kick him away, create those scrambles and try to get back to his feet. Beer doing a great job of staying on top. Trying to pick his shots. He's not flailing away wildly. An elbow to the body. Yep, working in the guard now though, Randy. Lost that full mount and lost it pretty quickly. Recovered and stayed on top though, which you know, sometimes you go for those arm bars and you miss them, you end up giving up that top position. Oftentimes though, when we talk about the heavyweight prodigy, if you will, Frank Mir doesn't miss those arm bars. Yeah, that's true. To overcome what he has gone through, you've gotta, you've gotta realize that he has a rod and two screws in his leg now, he had a broken femur. I mean, he was away from the fight game for over a year. He was walking with a cane for a while. Now he's back in one of the toughest sports in the world. If not the toughest sport in the world. It's truly a testament to his spirit and his willingness to, to continue to strive to be here. But his entire life. Now he's looking to split that guard and probably pass Christensen. He's using that knee and Christensen's behind to try and break those feet. Oh, good knee. His entire life has been spent in the mixed martial arts game and in martial arts. His father with the, the, the background in combat sports. So, I mean, Frank Mir, a little Frankie as he was probably then, has been around the gym his entire life. <laughs> Nothing little about Frankie anymore. No, that's true. Armbar attempt by Christensen. Will he oh, my it? gosh. Spinning out of it is Mir. Nice work. And Mir looks to be very tired at this point. Mir looks like he looked in London, England. When Ian Freeman overwhelmed him. attempt by Christensen from the bottom. Now, there's one thing about knocking out Frank Mir or, or beating Frank Mir in another fashion. There's another thing to submit Frank Mir. Yeah. Would not have expected that. And he was able to get through it. But the guy did you two guys out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, do have submission. And they have submission very well in their game because strong stand-up and submissions are Christensen's strength. So Big Dan light on his feet, weathered the early storm. 50 seconds left in round number one. Fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Little adjustment to the knee guard. Nice knee by Mir. 
Maybe not as weary as I thought. It's pretty composed, pretty relaxed. Still wants to close the distance. Trying to lead with the right, try to fake with a kick and lead with the right. And still, you know, use it, using some of that Greco, using some of that clinch, Randy, that you perfected. And oh, nice combinations. Great combinations, and there's the reach of Dan Christensen. Good inside leg kick. So a good flurry at the end of round one by the Sandman. Nice work. And round one is in the books. Round one over, pretty good. Looked like Mir was on his way to taking the round, and Christensen stole it. Nice armbar attempt. Mir scrambles out, loses his top position. It was a nice four-punch, five-punch combination by Dan Christensen. Coming up, the fight we have waited so many days for. The second meeting between the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz, and the man he loves to hate more than any human being in the world, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Will it be another beatdown, or will the Hall of Famer make a statement here tonight? That fight is coming up next. A new switch of camps for Frank Mir, so he's trying to fix a problem. But to fix a problem, you have to acknowledge it. And in many's minds, he has done that by, by taking his training, Randy, and broadening his horizon. He's showing way better stand-up in this fight than we've seen from him in the past. He is protecting his head much better. He is willing to trade, throw some combinations, even throw a kick. There's a nice double leg. Christensen defends it pretty well. Well, Christensen doesn't seem to be banged up at all. And that's the one thing. I mean, Mir may have gotten that first round because he had some he had some time in which he had an advantage position-wise. But it wasn't a dominant first round for either fighter, and especially I speak, of course, of Frank Mir. Back and forth. And I think, actually, Dan may have eked that round out with At the armbar attempt yep. and, the, and the four or five punch combination there. So if, if we're going back and forth on it, the judges are obviously doing yeah. the same thing. Not an easy one to score. 34-year-old Dan Christensen from Los Angeles, now fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Good connection there. round here between Dan Christensen and Frank Mir. Christensen keeping the pressure on here. Not giving Frank much room to breathe. Just steady pressure. Controlling the clinch. Every break throws a combination. I think those knees, Mir keeps dropping knees into Dan's gut. And, and those can take their toll, especially in the third round. If they don't knock you out or knock you down, they break you down, don't they? They, they can win you. They can affect your conditioning. Christensen almost has a look on his face right now, Randy, like he's having a fun time. Well, there's a fun sport that I know of. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't look that fun. <laughs> like this part doesn't look that fun. There's an attempted sweep by Christensen. He may end up in a triangle here. Mir trying to straight knee bar with his legs. It looks like a straight knee bar. Mir looking to get a dominant position here. Christensen bringing those elbows across the midsection from the bottom. Black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Ricardo Perez. Born and raised right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the former UFC heavyweight champion, Frank Mir. Christensen do a very good job of staying active from the bottom position. Go, guys. Shifting his hips from side to side, bringing those elbows across. Eve Levine telling the guys to keep working. If they don't stay busy here, he'll stand them up, and the pace is slowed. Comes an armbar attempt again. Mir counters. Mir looks absolutely.
absolutely exhausted. Christensen may be on the bottom here, but he is still controlling this fight. He's still causing Mir to counter arm bars, to Go move his head working. and keep from being elbowed and punched. So one thing I think judges miss is that sometimes the guy on the bottom can still be dominating the fight. Mir's right arm is caught. Omoplata position yep. here, started Omoplata. And pulled out. Sure counters. Had it caught Every time he pulls out, he eats some leather. And, and the interesting about, thing about that is you can utilize your, your length and your reach and, and, like this, your flexibility even from the bottom. Mir takes a look at the clock. 50 seconds remains in the second of three rounds, and they're going to stand him up. And stand this back up, and even though Christensen was on the bottom, I think he was still dominating the fight from there. And I hope the judges are seeing it that way as well. So many times, just because the guy... Oh, now that hurt Frank Mir. That was Absolutely. a nice Frank Mir is straight exhausted right here. There's a nice tie kick by Frank Mir. You know what, Randy? Frank Mir's in trouble here. He is absolutely gassed. Don't hit it back. He's trying for a Kimura. Christensen counters. He's staring up at the clock. 20 seconds. It appears we will make it to round three. Trying to jump, jump up with the knee. <laughs> Christensen doing a great job of just keeping the pressure on Mir. You know, it's worthy of note that Dan Christensen is the same height and about the same weight as our heavyweight champion, Tim Sylvia. He's 6'8". That's right. 6'8", rangy, similar body styles. And winner of round two. I think clearly a uh, winner of round two. Even though he spent some time on the bottom, he was still forcing the action. Third round here in our heavyweight collision. Does Frank Mir have enough gas left in the tank to do something offensive enough to win this round, perhaps stop this fight? I think that's the big question. That is the question, and quite possibly this round could determine the fight. I think clearly Christensen won the second round. The first round was very tough to call. It went back and forth. Mir had some good things. He was on top. He did some good things. Christensen had an armbar attempt. A couple good punching combinations. Don't know how the judges saw it. Christensen continuing the pressure. Mir repumbling, trying to get a better inside position. And down nice they go. Nice takedown again by Mir. Good sweep of the leg. Nice little foot sweep. Yep, that's the foot sweep you used in your victory against Chuck Liddell on multiple occasions. And then, much to your dismay, Chuck kind of figured that one out, didn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Funny how those guys make those adjustments. Crazy like that, isn't it? Mike Goldberg, UFC Hall of Famer, Randy Couture, Joe Rogan on assignment in Boston tonight. Frank Mir looking a little better here. Mir stepping it up, but he... Maybe he does have some took, energy left. Took the advice of his car. He said, look, we got to win this round. It's a round of peace, according to Mark Lehman. we got to win this round. Dan Christensen's bleeding now. Some great ground and pound there by Frank Mir. Mir looking to pass. Watch your finger. Ending up in the half, half guard. Christensen pulls guard again. What's with that side of the cage? Everybody wants to bleed on the canvas on that side you of what, the cage. It's not really fair. Great win to open the hey, night for Joe Stevenson. Defeating Eve Edwards at 155, working, and now Keep men working. who weigh about 250 pounds, about 100 pounds heavier, <laughs> battling in the heavyweight division. Don't forget, main event tonight is for the heavyweight championship. Third matchup between Tim Sylvia and Andre Arlovsky. Tito and Ken is coming up next. Near pass, he's in cross-side position here. Doing a nice job, picking his shots. Here's a, a Kimura, straight arm bar. And he's got his opponent pushed up against the fence. Look for Dan to kick off that fence and try and change this position. Mir found some gas that we didn't see displayed in the second he round. He absolutely did. He took the advice of Mark Lehman. He said, look, it's a round apiece. We have to have this third round. On, Work diligently guys. to stay on top. Better his position. Stay active. Make sure the referee doesn't stand this up. Christensen trying to pull guard. Don't forget UFC On Demand at video.ufc.com. For the first time ever, UFC fights are available on demand. See classic fights from UFC 1 to the present available through UFC On Demand. And don't forget, check out UFC.com after 
our presentation tonight for all the live post-fight analysis. Christensen doing a nice job using his feet, trying to create some space and scramble. Mir working diligently to stay on top here and dominate this round. Well, this round definitely belongs to Frank Mir. And this may very well lead him to the decision that he so desperately needs. Dan Christensen's got a minute 38 to really make something happen in this round. It's from the kick away again and scramble. One twenty remains. Keep working, guys. Keep working. You're doing a good job posturing up now. Look for the bring big shots down from here. There's just climbing with those legs. Okay, break. Let's go. Get up. Here's the referee standing them up. 50, 52 seconds left in the round. See what Mir has left. Christensen's having right. trouble seeing. Yeah, a little blood out of his nose when he cleared. Nose is bleeding. Double leg attempt. And it looks like Frank Mir's going to have trouble with this one. Good sprawl by Dan Christensen. Nice sprawl. 33 seconds remains. Dan needs to make a statement here, though. He certainly does. He needs to finish this round strong. And then it kind of boils down to how they judge that first round, in my opinion. And you and I went back and forth on that first round. It's hard to, hard to judge that one. No damage, obviously, by Frank Mir in this round. Christensen's got some cuts in his face. Looks like we're headed to a judge's decision. Here's the end of the round. Third and final round. Fight is in the books. We will render a judge's decision. And purely exhausted is the former heavyweight champion, Frank Mir. So Mir and Christensen will wait for the judges to render their decision. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Frank!